So they chose somebody else. Right? They, they, they chose somebody else. And you don't understand it. Now you're sitting with feelings of worthlessness, right? You guys were connecting so well. You had this incredible connection going, right? Did they ghost you? They ghosted you, didn't they? They just went cold. They stopped responding to you altogether, didn't they? That's the reality of it, right? (laughs) They chose somebody else. They did. What if this isn't actually what you think it is, though? What if this actually has far less to do with you or entirely nothing at all to do with you and everything to do with them? You ever heard of that saying before, people can only meet you as far and as deeply as they've met themselves? Right? What does that mean exactly? Well, when I look at this, I see emotional immaturity and emotional unavailability, right? If you have the capacity to go deep because you are emotionally available, right? And that scares the ever-living fuck out of somebody else that is emotionally immature, that is emotionally unavailable, yeah, they're going to run. They're going to choose somebody who is far more surface level, far more superficial, right? If being connected to you means that somebody else is probably going to be required to face their fucking demons, to face their fucking emotional shit. And they are instead emotionally immature and emotionally unavailable. You are goddamn right that they are going to run and choose somebody else. It's not you. No. They run away from themselves. It's not you that they're running away from, actually. Let's let's make this even more clear, practical, and understandable. (laughs) You are not the unworthy piece of shit that you are spiraling into believing you are because this person was deeply connected to you. I'll validate it. Yeah, deeply connected to you, and then all of a sudden, they just fucking up and left. And a week down the line, you find out that they are talking to somebody else. You find that they have chosen somebody else. The reality of the matter is that it's actually not you they're running from. I'm going to go deep with this, right? No pun intended, because people that are uh, emotionally unavailable, emotionally immature, they lack the capacity to go deep because it would scare the shit out of them, right? So they're not actually running from you. They're not. You've just presented the potential of going deep, and that scares the shit out of them because that would require them to go deep. Right? They're not not choosing you because of anything that has to do with you. It's that they're not choosing themselves. And it has everything to do with themselves. They're running away from themselves. And that's the reality of it. So when you've had this really good connection with somebody, right? You're, you're deeply connecting with them and everything. You're sharing trauma. You're learning about their story. You're learning about their life and everything. And it feels fantastic, right? Oh my God, you've never been seen like this before. Whew. This is incredible, right? Yeah, but then scattered throughout the course of a week down the line, they just stop responding to you and then somehow some way you know because we're in uh, 2024 and we have social media and we can find out that somebody's been talking to somebody else which is fucking crazy and uh it's not good or bad but it's very unhealthy for us i mean we do it to ourselves 
you find out that they're talking to somebody else. You find out that they're actually in a relationship with somebody else. What the fuck? We had this incredible connection. Why is this happening? God damn it. This sucks. But they're not running away from you. They're not. See it for what it is. It's not you. It's them. They're not running away from themselves. Uh, they're, they're not. They're not running away from you. They're not. You're not. You're. 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 You're not the issue. <laughs> they run away from emotional intimacy like it's the fucking plague. Because they haven't met themselves that far yet. They haven't met themselves that deeply. So it's not that the other person that they're now choosing is better than you. This is not a game of better than worse than. It's not good or bad. It's just that the other person is surface level. The other person is superficial. And that's not good or bad or right or wrong or anything like that. It's just the way that it is. And that feels like home to that other person. Why? Because they're terrified of looking inside of themselves. That's the reality of it, right? So you can save yourself from spiraling. You can save yourself from, you know, the chaos and the disaster of going into the darkness of believing that you're all of a sudden, well, I mean, not all of a sudden, you've believed that this entire time this person is just another reinforcement of this belief that you are, in fact, not really in fact, but a worthless piece of shit. Oh, all these people leave me. You're attracted to people that are emotionally immature, emotionally unavailable, likely because your trauma marred you and scathed you that way. Your trauma fucked you up that way over and over again. Be attracted to people that walk away. I'll use run away instead. I like that better. <laughs> Be attracted to people that are emotionally unavailable, that are emotionally immature, right? That's what your marring and scathing did to you. That's what your trauma did to you. It taught you to be attracted to people that are emotionally immature, emotionally unavailable, right? But you want to get deep. You can get deep. <laughs> Probably has to do with your trauma too, right? This person didn't leave you and choose somebody else because you're not good enough. No. Well, something to look at for yourself potentially is um, the dynamic of boundaries. Having healthy boundaries is essential in any successful, sustainable, and long-term relationship. That's just the reality of it. Any relationship that does not consist of healthy boundaries is at some point going to crumble to the fucking ground like the following of Rome. That's just the reality of it, right? Um, but they didn't leave you and choose somebody else because there's something wrong with you because you are a worthless piece of shit. No, they, that's not the reality of it, no. Um, they left you and chose somebody else probably because you were going deep with them and they were like, ah. Oh, I can't do this. I don't know why I go British with that stuff. But anyway, um, <laughs> that is what happened. And they were like, let me go find somebody that is surface level, that is superficial, that will not require me to go deep because I can't go deep because there's nothing there. I've got nothing there. And that would be terrifying to realize because I'd be required to go deep with them. Excuse my absurd British attempt. <laughs> Crikey, there's nothing there. <laughs> Oi, mate, there's nothing there. <laughs> oh, shit. I have to look at my narcissistic lack of self-core. There's nothing there. <laughs> That's fucking terrifying, mate. <laughs> yes, it is. 
And that's clearly why they've left. I mean, it might not always be why they left, but um, if you have a deep emotional connection with somebody, or so you believe you do, that's what you've experienced with this person over the course of, uh, I don't know, um, a week, a month. By the way, way too fucking fast. Way too fucking fast. Speed is a red flag. Um, but if you've had that with the person, right? And then all of a sudden they're just like gone in the blink of an eye, right? And then you're like, what the fuck? Holy shit, they're with somebody else. I'm not good enough, right? I'm not worthy. No, 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 no. Um, they're probably likely just fucking terrified of looking at themselves. And that's what emotional intimacy requires, right? Emotional intimacy requires the capacity to look at oneself. And when you can't do that, you're going to find somebody that just leaves, that just ups and runs. Speedy fucking Gonzalez. I swear I'll try. No, I, won't, I, won't, I don't swear I'll try to get better at my accent. I just, I just enjoy being a, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's not you. It's not. But I would go right the fuck ahead and stop chasing that, stop looking for it, stop um, messaging it, go no contact, delete, block, see ya, sayonara. Yeah. <laughs> Good motherfucking riddance. Yeah. Um, let me just make this very clear if I haven't already. People that are emotionally immature are emotionally unavailable and they are incapable of long-term sustained healthy emotional intimacy right um so if you've ever found yourself in a situation with somebody like this where like the connection was incredible right or so you thought so and then all of a sudden they were just like gone like that and they went with somebody else you know you can you can save yourself from spiraling into a depressive episode of unworthiness and understand that it actually has nothing to do with you they run away from themselves like they're avoiding the fucking black plague it's just the way that it is you can't save them you can't you probably were trying to anyway you can't let the other person deal with their bullshit because that other person will probably lead them to at some point yeah, it's just the reality of it.